Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, uh, this audio podcast. Um, and this is uh, an audio podcast um, uh, uh, under uh, under um, uh, a Storm Robotics. It's a Storm Robotics production, um, and this is uh, the scientist. And this is um, an audio podcast um, uh, um, in 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 and around um, the the Lobotics intermission. And um, this is going to be an audio podcast um, surrounding the use the use for cryo precipitate. So a bit of introduction around around this. So typically, a unit of cryo precipitate is described as plas- as a as a plasma component which contains most of the, of of factor eight. Um, and fibrinogen from uh, 300 mils of uh, fresh frozen plasma. Cryoprecipitate is um, is uh, is is referred to or is known um, in tra- uh, at least in transfusion practices um, uh, as the ins- uh, as as the cold insoluble precipitate of plasma uh, remaining after fresh frozen plasma has been obtained from whole blood um, or apheresis. Um, and has been uh, thawed out between one to six degrees. And so, um, in relating to um, sort of the um, the uh, the nutrients within cryoprecipitate, um, there is um, there tends to be fibrinogen within within cry, uh, cryoprecipitate. There tends to be factor eight, um, uh, uh, factor eight, uh, uh, fact, uh, factor eight. And they're also uh, that, um, in in cryoprecipitate, um, as far as nutrition and uh, uh, nutrients are, is concerned, is von uh, there's von uh, Willebrand's uh, von Willebrand's factor, and also uh, factor uh, 13 as well, oh, and also um, uh, also a component uh, referred to or known as fibronectin. So uh, in in relating to uh, cryoprecipitate and and the availability of cryoprecipitate, um, 20 uh, 20 mil packs are available generally in all um, blood in all uh, ABO blood groups. They are supplied in, in packs of five normally. Um, and group AB cryoprecipitate is available uh, is available and suitable for for pediatrics um, or ne- and neonates. The storage um, of cryoprecipitate um, is a little bit similar to our fresh frozen plasma. Um, it is stored at minus 30 degrees or below for up to 12 months. Um, and um, generally, um, as soon as, um, like uh, as as in the case with fresh frozen plasma, as soon as um, there's indication for cryo- cryoprecipitate to be used um, uh, and uh, where, it's, where it's to be used, it has to be thawed out and also has to be used within within um, um, a, a specific uh, time duration as well. So the indications for cryoprecipitate include where there's factor 13 deficiency, there's replacement of um, a low fibrinogen. So for example, in patients who might have evidence of, um, although there is evidence of disseminated intravascular coagulation, and there's bleeding um, in uremic patients, um, and also where there's factor um, factor uh, eight factor eight deficiency. Oh, and also um, where there is um, uh, von uh, uh, evidence of uh, von Willebrand's uh, Willi, uh, von Willebrand's disease. So issuing uh, cryoprecipitate. Um, it's a little, uh, somewhat similar to fresh frozen plasma, although although it does have specific um, specific um, uh, uh, specific conditions. So fi- the fibrinogen level has to be less than one one gram uh, uh, one uh, gram per liter um, in in a pregnant or postpartum uh, female patient uh, where where the fibrinogen level is less than two grams per liter. Uh, and also uh, for a group AB uh, AB patient, if there are there is or are are insufficient stocks of 
uh, AB fresh frozen plasma um, available, uh, cryoprecipitate can be used then. So in this uh, table, um, uh, I've highlighted um, sort of the indications for um, for um, for issuing um, cryoprecipitate by ABO blood group, and um, I'm not going to um, uh, highlight um, everything uh, or the information in the, in this particular table. Um, uh, however, suffice to say, um, this um, with a small volume of plasma present, the product or the cryoprecipitate is often is often given regardless of ABO or D, uh, D uh, ABO um, group, um, um, a, uh, sorry, ABO group um, or type. In relating to the temperature um, surrounding cryoprecipitate, so it must be thawed in uh, 37, uh, 37 degrees in a, in a, in a water bath, um, uh, at least where in, in transfusion practices are concerned and 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 generally in 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 uh, sort of laboratories nowadays that there are sort of more sophisticated more sophisticated um, sort of um, uh, um, uh, water baths that actually um, uh, can um, uh, can do uh, can thaw out um, thaw out the um, uh, um, the uh, 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 cryoprecipitate or fresh frozen plasma um, are much uh, sort of quicker and the pack must be contained in, in an intact intact outer seal uh, outer heat uh, sealed bag and the plasma uh, the plasma cry cryoprecipitate must reach um, must reach 37 degrees to ensure the cryoprecipitate is in solution and can be um, uh, can be used uh, right away. So in relating to temperature as well, alternative cryoprecipitate can be thawed out in a microwave, a microwave oven and most transfusion uh, laboratories and pathology departments have a, a sort of microwave oven to, um, to ensure that cryoprecipitate um, and other um, particular blood components can be, can be thawed out um, quickly. Um, uh, and so in, uh, in related to this, um, once th thawed out, the, um, the product, um, uh, fresh frozen plasma and uh, cryoprecipitate um, could, uh, uh, can be and should be stored um, at, room, uh, at room temperature and has to be used and should be used within a four hour duration. So as part of standard operating procedure, one, once um, a cryoprecipitate is thawed out, the time of thawing must be uh, written on a uh, must be written on a uh, a bag label and documented uh, and labeled for the patient um, or individual um, where it has been indicated and then issued right away. So as part of standard operating uh, procedure, um, the um, uh, the indications for cryoprecipitate um, are sort of long standing um, have uh, has 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 uh, been uh, indicated for um, patients who who, are, who have been diagnosed with promyelocytic leukemia and also where uh, patients may uh, patients have been diagnosed with um, thrombotic uh, thr thrombocytopenic purpura or TTP. I want to say uh, uh, thank you for taking the time to listen in on this um, uh, audio podcast in this uh, in this intermission um, in, in, as part of this intermission uh, um, as part of this uh, as part of this intermission um, uh, some references and acknowledgements um, so um, uh, for this um, for uh, for uh, this audio podcast um, a reference uh, uh, I highlight that um, the reference. One of the references um, um, that have been uh, that have been used um, that had been um, that had been implemented was um, uh, sourced from the in in International um, Society of uh, Blood Transfusion or ISBT Science Series 2020 a special issue and it's an introduction to blood transfusion from a donor to recipient and it's available uh, through the ISBT uh, website and it is downloadable. Um, and also acknowledgement to uh, Malcolm Needs, transfusion scientist and pra 
practitioner in the UK for um, her approach to haematology and also acknowledgement to Professor Ken, jo Ken Jones, Emeritus Professor um, in Immunology in the UK for the immunology perspective. Um, and uh, once again, um, this um, has been uh, an audio podcast in, in this, um, uh, in this uh, um, uh, audio podcast um, uh, a series, uh, in this audio podcast um, around uh, the lobotics intermission. Um, and um, uh, this has been The Scientist. Uh, it's been another Storm Lobotics production. And the next um, audio podcast um, in, in the in uh, in this uh, the lobotics uh, intermission will be um, uh, will be and surround uh, research involvement and participation. Thank you for taking the time.